the way the Angels have been going here, can they keep pace with this Houston team? And how important is this early matchup in April? I think for just the Angels to feel good about themselves, they have to compete well. They've had a lot of wins against teams that, you know, the A's and teams that probably aren't going to be that strong. They just had a heck of a series with the Red Sox, and it didn't go well for them. So this is a chance to, okay, let's let's regroup. Let's try and show ourselves. Pitching is going to be the issue all year long. They're great on defense. The offense is coming around. They're swinging the bats well. But are they going to have enough pitching? I mean, Garrett Richards has been good. Uh, you know, Otani, jury's still out there. And then, you know, where's the relief coming from? I agree. They're pitching. It's going to be their starting pitching. Their bullpen's already thrown the most innings in baseball. Mike Sosha is wearing out a path to the mound every time because the starting pitchers aren't getting them deep, getting them deep enough into the game. So for me, can Skag continue the way he started? Richard stay healthy. Tropiano. Uh, Otani, Otani is, is probably the key to their whole season. What, what do you think and, about him, Otani? I mean, so, so far, so good. But again, he faced the A's, which is a good matchup. They strike out a lot. Then he faced a Red Sox team that laid off his splitter. And they pounded him pretty good until he had the blister. So the jury's out on Otani. Is, is he something to watch and something cool, a good story? Yeah, he's a good story. But once the, once the league sees him, once he starts making adjustments, once they stop swinging at the splitter, we'll see where he's at. And as a hitter, yeah, I'll give him credit. He hit some home runs early. But again, first time through, he didn't show anything in spring training. It's a whole new world once you get through it. People have tape. They see you. They make adjustments. This is the big league. This is the best players in the world. They're going to make adjustments. He can hit 350 with a home run every time he goes up there. Yeah, although the Angels have hit more home runs than anyone else, at least coming into the night. They led the majors at the, about the 20-game mark. He had five strikeouts, walked three, some 89 pitches. That's a professional high for him. Number of pitches, his first start, and somebody you've been keeping an eye on closely in the Dodger organization. Yeah, it, with him in spring training uh, this year and had an opportunity to watch him pitch, Kid's got electric stuff. You know, he's not a real big guy, but he is just, it's fast twitch, throwing 95 to 98, curveball and changeup are coming along. Needs to be a bit more pitch efficient. That'll come. The kid probably, his best attribute is he competes. I mean, he will, he will just continue to battle, battle, battle. And, you know, sometimes you have the guys that throw close to 100, and they just get them by with that stuff. Then you have the other guys that don't have the great stuff, but they just, they will not let up. He's both, and he is going to be a star for this all, this organization. Yeah, so when you're the catcher, the experience behind the plate, and you get a guy like that out there for the first time, AJ, how do you work with him? How we much? try to treat it the same. Most of the time, Grandal, you know, as Monty Grandal, the catcher, I'm sure caught him in spring training. Maybe Eric caught him in spring training as much as he knows <laughs> about him, but... I didn't he, catch him. You didn't? No. I, I would love to have seen that. But you just take it like it's a regular game, like a regular spring training game or whatever it takes, you got to get him through the first inning. You see he got the bases loaded in the first inning. They got him through. And after that, he cruised. Why? The nerves, the adrenaline, everything. You say, oh, you don't get nervous. Oh, you get nervous. Your first big league game, every big league game, you get a little bit nervous. So he got him through it. Then he settled down, gave him five. But how do you, how, what is getting him through it? Like, what do you, you do to you, get him through? You it? use your six mound visits if you have to. <laughs> <laughs> you and just you are go limited. Out, you are, but you go out there and you try to make it as normal as possible. You try to make him as Comfort. comfortable as possible. You pat him on the back, say, "Hey, you know, it's okay, Walker. You know, we'll get through this. Whatever it takes to get him through the first inning, get him to calm down, get the nerves, get the heart rate to slow to normal." And they did that, and well, he cruised for and five it innings. Worked well against the Marlins. The, the tentative plan: give him well, a couple of starts. It was the Marlins, so I know. nothing against the Marlins, know. but. Don't With tell the Marlins. I think the, I think the Dodgers might have had that uh, don't, part of the plan. Derek Jeter, don't get into that with him. They're, they're, <laughs> the Marlins are not tanking, okay? And if you need a definition, we'll Google it. Uh, with the guys for our final pitch, what's on your mind? That home run that was just, <laughs> holy jeez, that's that was triple's crushed. alley. Yeah, that, was <laughs> that looked like a Stanton home run. God, yeah, talking about Stanton, Giancarlo Stanton, a big night tonight in New York. And it all gets started just with that little squibber through the shift, and then bam, this thing is not a little squibber. Four for four tonight. He's going to sleep. He's going to feel good. Look at the MVP, all the talent in the world, just needs a little bit of success. And uh, how about for you? The Angels win tonight. Skaggs beats Cole. They have Otani going tomorrow against Morton. They needed to win this game because of Verlander and Morton the next two days. But the Angels are chasing the World Series champions, the Astros. They came out tonight, proved it, matched their pitching. 
Now they're set up for the next couple of days. I don't have a final pitch, so it's a warm-up final pitch. Walker Bueller pitching well. His major league debut as a starter for the Dodgers. A game not over, but he's put the Dodgers in position to win. Now, Don Trovois joins AJ and me tomorrow night. Eric, you get the evening off. Thanks for watching 11 Eastern. MLB whip around. <laughs> the heckling must continue. <laughs>